this video we will talk about debug C++ in Visual Studio Code and as part of that we will talk about Ming 64 how to configure Ming W64 in Visual Studio Code and creating the workspace configuring the compiler path setting intelligence mode create build, build task debug the program now let's go to the program okay this is my windows 10 machine let me close all the application i opened already let me go to command prompt so let's create the folder called uh, let's follow the instruction provided in the document okay so first pre request install the visual studio code i have already installed so you may go through this installed c++ extension for vs code installed ming 64 it is a little bit complex so let me explain so open this link okay and click the source force okay once you click it will automatically getting installed downloaded once downloaded you can install it actually so i have installed let me now i can i can show you where i have installed in this computer i have installed in c drive ming w w64 and uh, 64 so while part of the installation <coughs> keep remember part of the installation you have to select 64 version by default it selects the 34 what do you have to select the 64 version that's what i can inform you so download is completed let me try to launch uh, install one more time if, if it looks good then we, i will continue otherwise i will skip the installation of the uh, okay this is what i wanted to talk about this here right so architecture i686 right instead of that you would select x684 and remaining is fine this is what uh, this is the only thing i wanted to explain the and then you click continue next next and install it i don't want to continue because i already installed okay this is the one first steps right okay second second step okay configuring the path add the path to your ming w64 bin folder for example right now in my computer uh, actually here this is my bin folder i just go there copy it uh, find the computer computer this computer this pc right click properties advanced system settings uh, environmental variables path edit uh, not that path system variables this is a user defined variable I edit in the system variables okay. okay path here edit you will know you can notice that I already added you can click new and add it so I already added here in the path so this is how you will be adding the path to the system environment variable so that is the second step next creating the workspace creating the workspace nothing but creating the folder and go to that folder and uh, uh, launch the code from that folder right so i have already created the folder called cpp c++ right so i created a folder under that i will create the first program mk dir first cpp okay i'm creating the folder go to that first cpp and uh, now launch the code so this is the this is how you will create the workspace for visual studio code now visual studio code is running under the first cpp uh, folder right? the next steps after creating the thing you go to create these three files and how to create these three files first configure the compiler path go to command palette so either you can use shortcut or menu in this video i will use menu view command palette right? command palette type c plus c plus plus 
right you will see edit configuration ui so edit edit configuration ui will be loaded and it, this is what i selected edit configuration ui and there uh, we selected edit configuration ui <coughs> Okay, once edit configuration you have selected, then C, C underscore CPP underscore properties or JSON file is created under VS code, dot VS code folder. Okay, and we will see that later. And here, this is the important part. Find the compiler path. Okay, if you scroll down, if you scroll down, you see the compiler path. It is binding to something else. Right, but what we got to do? We got to put this G plus plus dot exe right so where is g plus plus dot exe here in this folder we have the g plus plus dot exe so we need to put that g and select and go back go back uh, delete here and paste that right this is the compiler path one setting next setting compiler path setting is done then next thing in the license mode to gc iphone x64 okay that's what uh, we got to set so scroll down still in the license mode is here this is saying already incompatible collect gc x64 now the incompatibility is gone right and uh, next step is <coughs> Uh, you only need to modify the include path setting if you are programming include scatter files that are not in your workspace. So for our simple program, uh, we don't need to add any header. Otherwise, we can add it here. So we added. If you are after adding, they are saying the file should look like this, right? So where can I see the file? If you scroll up, okay, scroll up here. You can click this. It will take you uh, to the file. So the file. So it would look like this. So it's compiler path is important and detail sense mode is important and this. So we configured the C underscore C plus plus properties dot JSON. The one major task is over. Another task is create the build task. Right? For that, you uh, you can you would go to command palette. Let me go the queue command palette type task under that configure task right so configure default build task you get to do that and okay configure default build task and create task as a file from the template right so go here command palette configure default build task and select create task as a file from the template uh, and select other because we don't need all those things so we selected other uh, it will create the simple file once you click the simple file if we, we 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 want the c++ right we can type basically right we have to copy paste this because we want the command equal g, g++ and the kind of build is default equal to true right these are the settings in here those are missing so i have copied the entire file and delete and paste it here this is under task.json file so we create task.json file right now configuring debug settings right uh, now configuring debug debug settings go to view uh, command palette right? uh, launch right launch if you have then uh, choose open launch uh, dot json uh, actually so that's what we have to say we, command palette launch okay then this is c++ gdp okay so this is launch is created right launch is created so uh, we create a and then uh, this all are created use the program name hello world.exe which measures what you persuade in the task chart json right and uh, MI debugger path right so these are the things we got to set it so here they are using hello world but we use it for my first G C++ app that's why you got to see that actually right hello world so this is we are using
okay we will change it here also task because default is coming here but we we want to have it like first cpp right first first cpp first cpp because we are not using our file is first cpp we are not using hello world right okay uh, and launch the json also uh, should look like this right mm, program the program they are saying asking you to change hello world but we our name is first c++ program right so first c++ program so the program name is of a.exe change into first cpp okay so that's one thing first cpp because you can use hello world then your program your uh, your program should be hello world but i have named the program first cpp right that is i'm saying it here and then um mi debugger path value to uh, installation right so mi debugger path value to installation so till the uh, gdp.exe right so the gdp.exe that's why mi use debugger path now it will go to here you will have gdp.exe here gdp so you say gdp.exe we need this path like gdp gdb copy gdb.exe uh, okay they remove this and paste that and you need to put double slash other it will give you error right? double slash the path double slash double slash double slash right. uh, we configured the we configured the uh, launch json that's it and the external console equal to true to run the program the external console um, by the default civil access adds a private fund to the main mm. so we will talk about those other properties right here uh, we we'll scroll let then stop at the end defaults and external control so we would we make it external control true then the control will be open outside if it is false then control will be open part of the visual studio code itself so we will talk about that part of the our uh, while debugging the code now uh, add the source code so this is a source code now let's go and create the source code right so creating the source code you go to create the new file okay so now you can click here and uh, click here uh, so here the first cpp here like name it first cpp dot cpp okay so we have now the empty project is there now we can start writing the code include io stream using namespace std int main okay see out okay we will ask uh, user to enter the name and print the name whatever enter okay uh, see out uh, enter name okay see out enter name okay first program okay see how this is not required deleted so now see in the user has to enter the name right name string when name when we need it declare it see in not int okay in name now print your name is okay your name is name put it so finally you are we are what are we are getting the name and printing them this so so our program is ready now let's play you see the play button okay now click this one then it will launch the terminal here and it will ask for the name okay click this okay it's launching here you will see it's asking you can see that it is asking enter the name 
now t- let me type the name name uh, okay i will say my uh, youtube channel name that tech universe new tech universe new tech universe and press enter then your name is new because i think the, you cannot uh, provide the space so that is uh, it is displaying so let me launch one more time okay let me launch one more time enter the name okay uh, so i will say that uh, name is john okay enter so your name is john so this so this so we have created the first application in visual studio code launch your application in debug mode so that is you can see the breakpoint here you can continue one by one like this so you did printer enter the name and waiting if you execute that line it will wait for your name okay by typing the name like john i entering okay it stopping here you can mouse over this it is displaying john and go next it is printing the your name is john so this is how you can set up visual studio code for c++ development for with the compilation and the debugging one by one step by step thank you for watching if you like this video please share and subscribe and click the bell notification symbol for getting new video whenever we upload thank you